Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Diablo Immortal, the Malice server version. I want to tri do a tribute to one of my good friends, unfortunately, that has quit the game. Or at least he told me he quit the game. And I want to talk about him because we played together since the beginning of time, which is the beginning of this game, you know. And he is one of the best person on this server. And... You know, there's a lot of people that smack talk and, like, talk shit and everything. And, you know, I don't really care about them, right? But this person goes out of his way to help people and just does a lot of things, right? And he's not, like, exceptionally high res or anything, powerful or anything. He does what he can. And he's he was keeping up with the server until Hell 5. Which we just started like two days ago. So anyways. As we all will probably do. We will probably quit the game. And this person has told me yesterday. And I was quite upset about it. That he is done. He's not just going to quit. He's going to uninstall the entire game. Never look back. Throw away the keys basically. Don't even have the password anymore. So he doesn't even know how to get back. Right? Kind of situation I think. Uh, but he's not coming back. So, this person, let me try to find him, is Ogre. You may have known him if you're on this server, right? And, yeah, I mean, I think he's pretty much going to do this as he tells his other friends, hey, I'm done. Like, he was telling me last, I don't know if it, I should call it last night, it would, it would, be, it would be the early morning of today. Right, so he's done, and we will see if that is true or not. But he has been logging in less and less and less. You know how that's how that that's how it works, right? You you log in less for one day, and then next day you log in less for two days, and you know it keeps on going like that, right? Until you don't log in anymore. But I want to talk about Ogre because and give him a little tribute and talk about playing with him. And our time together and kind of just little documentation of this this game on Malice, right, that we've had since we played together for so long. It, it's not like one of those things where you play like for a few hours, right? I mean, these things you could play for like six hours, eight hours, ten hours. And he actually forgot to pay his electric bill because of the game. You see, that's how bad it, it was for him. And... I understand, I fully understand, and most people that don't understand has a problem. I mean, most people I've spoken with understands how it is, right? So, Ogre is one of the most helpful person on the server. And I don't mean by the fake helpfulness and acting nice or whatnot. He does it because he likes to do it, and he doesn't really care about it, right? Other people do it because they want to build a reputation or something like that. Because, you know, you know everybody once you're like three months and over into the game, right? I mean, if suddenly somebody all of a sudden is so helpful for like the, a few days, you know, for no reason. I mean, you know that he's a jackass, right? And then all of a sudden he's like, you know, he, he has a change of a heart or personality, well, that's fake, but Ogre's not like that. You see, Ogre is very, I don't know if I should say open-minded or whatever, but he says a shit is a piece of shit, you know? You know, some people like to cover a piece of shit and sugarcoat it and say, oh, no, there's this, not necessarily, there's always this thing and that thing. No, I mean, Ogre's like, no, that's a piece of shit. Yeah, the shit, you know? It's not like, oh, no, there's, like, sugarcoating on it or something. No, I mean, Ogre has also been very helpful with my clan and how I lead the clan as well, right? I mean, he plays with my clan member a lot, right? We played together when we were young, to sort of speak in the game. Not young as in real life, but in the game when we were like Paragon 1, you know, level 50 or something. So we've been playing together for a very long time. And, you know, one of the things is, I sent some things about members, but I don't say anything because I don't need to say anything. Why should I say anything, right? And I'm not like he's different. He's literally like he could tell if one of my members is like 
being overly aggressive towards other members. And he would tell me. And he's not even in my clan. That's the thing. That's the, that's the thing. We run together because we're butts, right? So he tells me, like, you know, somebody is a dictator or something. Or, like, just, like, he, he sees it, right? I don't say anything usually. I just, like, you know, I don't really care. It's a game. I do my stuff. I try to find my items. And then I help who I can, right? And whoever in the clan does their own stuff, right? Whenever they need to do help or anything, I help them. But I'm not going to tell them what skill to use, where to go, and whatnot, right? So, anyways, Ogre has been saying things that I don't dare to say because I don't dare to care about it. Because I worry if I care about it, then I start pushing people away. But anyways, so Ogre's very open about it. He talks about it, he tells me, and that's why when I do quit, I have this leadership thing set up that everybody's going to be a leader one day, you know, basically, at least for a cycle, and a cycle can be a very long, that's the problem, right? I mean, being a leader is hard. Anyways, going off track, and good, get back to Ogre. Yeah, I mean, I love playing with him, he's very helpful, his clan went under, and how his clan went under was very, you know, upsetting to a lot of us, too. Because it was like the Dark Vader moment, sort of speaking, you know. You enter the dark side. And he he just like, well, I'm going to up and quit, right? I mean, if I was in his clan, I would up and quit too. Because it's kind of like the, the Jedi is just lost. And whoever's left just like abandoned everything. And that's what he's doing, unfortunately. Now, he is a true Jedi, I got to say. You know, the now the people that went to the dark side, I don't know what to say about that, but you know, they were following Darth Vader as they are being converted in into darkness. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, big tribute to him. Gotta say, amazing guy. Unfortunately, we're losing him. I mean, the game is losing me. I mean, let alone uh some of the other players that I played with since the beginning of time. Now there are people that are cheating. They're not playing. You see, you see how he's level like 236? Because he's a real player, man. And he's getting tired. You see, there's a lot of people that aren't playing. They run a freaking bot, and we see this, right? We understand how this thing works, right? The bots, right? And when we see this, we say, oh, hell, I'm not fighting against the computer. Forget that, right? I mean, it's like your brain versus a calculator. I mean, your brain is limited, all right? The calculator is unlimited, to sort of speak. I mean, it doesn't, as long as the formula doesn't change, that is. But anyways, yeah, so we understand this, and I just want to give a big tribute to him. Great guy, amazing player, just got tired of the game like we all will. And hopefully, you know, I'll remember this in 10 years or something because... I remember when I was playing Diablo 2, never made any videos, and a lot of good clan members I've lost, you know, I, and I just want to keep some memories of it. Alright, anyways, thank you guys so much, and that is Ogre of the Malice server. Big tribute to him.